Hi, I'm Dave May, and this is a model set up for a natural frequency or modal analysis. Now, this is the most basic of all vibration analysis types, um, and you know it's also you know the basis for many of them. So a lot of times you'll need to perform a natural frequency analysis before you can perform some of the other vibration tests. Now, to perform a natural frequency, the only thing we need to do is set up some boundary conditions. So I'm going to put on select surfaces. I'll go ahead and choose a couple surfaces down here. I can right click, go to add, surface boundary conditions. In this case I'll just choose fixed. But really constraining degrees of freedom is all you need to do for natural frequency analysis. Now the rest of the setup can be found within the analysis parameters window. You can click this button right here or choose analysis parameters and in here I can specify a number of frequencies or modes to calculate by default it will find the first five natural frequencies but if you want to change that you can do it here you can also set an upper or lower cutoff frequency right so if you're only looking for modes within a certain range you can specify that also if you do not have a properly constrained model in this case I do but if, if let's say you're looking at modes in an airplane while it's in flight uh, it wouldn't have any boundary conditions on it right so you could choose this checkbox that would say rigid body modes are expected now if you do that it's you know important to keep in mind that that's usually going to encompass the first six modes right uh, three translation three rotation so you're gonna want to find more than five modes if if your models completely unconstrained for a natural frequency analysis, that's really all we need to do for the setup.